Ooh. No time for interest on this one. <sighs> oh, American beers. All right, the third song he suggested was Matt Black. And, uh, fuck, man. I think I'm going to do more because... I know I'm uh I know I'm extremely late to the whole Suicide Boys party, but holy fucking shit was I missing out. Damn. God damn. You did good, son. These lyric videos are fucking dope. These lyric videos are fucking dope. I mean, these guys are cultured as fuck, you know? The fact that, like, I, I, I don't know if they make them themselves, but, like, I guarantee they were sitting there like, oh, yeah, yeah, pull this clip from, like, this one movie and blah, 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 or, like, uh, like, you know, they had to have known about all this stuff. It's just, let's just fucking listen. I, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Visuals, man. Another fat ass beat that I could totally just pull up the instrumental and drive around at three in the morning on. Wow, what an entrance! You know, if you actually, like, and if that's true, that shit was bulging. Like, there's no secrets in yoga pants, bro. Like, everybody, everybody seeing that clock and that cock, dude. And I'm sorry if you just, your jaw dropped and you just cringed. I'm sorry, but. I got that cock in my yoga pants. Fucking that bitch in a yoga stance. Swinging that K with a hope and stance. Slow for smoking that OB. Swing that K. Vitamin K. You know what we're talking about here? There's a story of a, of a doctor who took so much ketamine, he was convinced he could talk to dolphins. You know, believe me, look that shit up. He was like an actual doctor. He was trying to teach them English. Oh, that paranoia is real. The walls are closing in. And by the way, Matt Black, um, MKBHD, Matt Black, everything. There you go, panic attacks back to back. You know, um, the lyrics fit the subject matter, which to me would suggest that it's real. This ain't acting like I was saying in the six seconds video. Um, these, these people talking about shit that actually happened in their life. They're not just fucking writing something down thinking they're going to make money off of it. Damn. Damn, that's one of the worst. That shit sucks. Like that feedback loop of being stuck like, oh, do I do it? I want to do it. I shouldn't do it. Do I do it? I don't know. Uh, bearded Eminem. It feels like feels like contemplating a relapse. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they got some story telling. Hey, Anyways, back to the hall. I was talking about. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> What a night. What a night. Day in life. <laughs> yeah, man. man needs the sloppy. What what can we say? Put it up in my mouth. Pip it up in my bill. What's up, girl? Stuck in a dirty cell. Let us 
something in that dirty south. I think I did read they're from like New Orleans, I think. I'm gonna do more research on them because uh, it's pretty cool. Two numbers, bitch, crank five nine three fingers in the air, main bitch by my side. Two numbers, bitch, crank five nine. Yeah, okay, I understand this now. It is before they were big. It was a uh, a local gang, and um, and then they turned it into their label name. Their affiliation. I see their merch is even gray five nine gray with the ash five nine. But also, uh, if anybody can tell me, or I could just look it up after this. If you put, if you put star five nine into a into like a hex color thing, would it come up as gray? Right? Cause like in hex, colors have numerical values. Am I am I going way off topic here? Fuck it. Slaughter up your daughter. I mean, yes, I guess, I guess every woman has a father. Jesus went and for you as a walkie driver water. Ah, yeah, that that was slick. That was game seven slick. I don't walk, I drive on water, you know, walk on water, Jesus. That's juxtaposition too because I was gonna say, man, some of the shit, especially like um uh that last song, Suicide Boys were better in twenty fifteen. Man, that shit was some poetry. The way that like they use such um I don't want to call it simple because it's not, but like such plain wording to paint such a complex picture. That's poetry. I'm gonna call it juxtaposition because right after they say, uh, what what do you say? Poem when I'm spitting game, right? Poetry tends to be held of a high standard, like posh. Followed by show me how that pussy shaved. So yeah, juxtaposition. I'm telling you, maybe these guys like secretly like, um, just like Googled literary devices and like educated, self-educated, maybe they secretly went to college, I don't fucking know, but these guys are smart. I'm not going to say pretty smart, I'm not going to say kind of smart, like they're clearly educated. Whether, whether from the streets, whether from the internet, whether from whatever, but like they, they learned. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that a lot of the themes cross over between multiple songs would again solidify it to me that they're talking about shit from their real life, you know? Shit that's actually on their mind. They're not just sitting here with a ghost rider or like some producer, some whack ass fucking suit at a record label, fucking telling them to say shit for a buck. Fuck that shit. And that's true, man. It's like, um, maybe, maybe you can relate to me, but it's like, I feel like the more I live my own life, the more. The more guilt my mom just seems to feel, and it's like, will she, will she ever really? Will she ever really understand it though? Yeah, this is this relatable as fuck. I'll be honest, that whole little thing, but.
That's uh fuck yeah. Damn. Isolation, the, the dissociation. Damn, dude, it's crazy. Cause like I, I've been there where anytime I was out in public or around people, it was like I, I just want to fucking be alone. And then you're alone, and all you can think about is being somewhere else. Not maybe ne something necessarily even social, but just not there. I don't know. It's weird. Just literally out of your mind. Just. Daydreaming up. <laughs> I'm getting way off topic, sorry, but like. It's some. The fuck do they call that shit, uh. Some fucking brain food? I don't know. Um. I'm told. The fucking cat's on my tongue, man. Shit is some real food for thought. I'm not, I'm not 31 yet, but holy shit, man. Definitely not 19 anymore. I think I'm getting there as far as to take care of myself, but shit, dude. Nobody told us the answers. The world ain't like it was 20 years ago. Man, that shit was, yeah, man. Hold on. Two step on the iris, fuck a text. I'm not about to admit anything on camera, but uh, let's just say there's this game, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, where his solution to everything is just ripping the document in half. And uh, hmm, I took some real life inspiration from that. Uh, <laughs> fuck a text, man. Really, fuck a text. But this shit right here, you know, um, that was also something Six Seconds was talking about where, uh, I mean, a lot of these people get big from admitting the fact that I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, and then all of a sudden they're famous, and nothing changed, you still don't know what the fuck you're doing, but all of a sudden everybody's like, well, how'd you do it? Like, Rap God, everybody wants the key and the secret to rapping immortality like I have got. Eminem, um, damn. Shit is real, man. Yeah, the ace in the hole. But, uh, I don't know why I like that line so much. I always like lines about the cards you were dealt and stuff like that. I don't know why. I'm 31, still don't know how to take care of myself. Honestly, I'm scared that the mind melt. Leave me on a bunch of black spots on a white belt. Leave me on the next life, I'll come back as a nice belt. I don't know, there's a fine line between me and you. Crazy thing about the fine line is... And fine lines are not very big, right? Like, but like, if you want to think about, like, you could take in, I'm trying to say two things with this, where like, there's not much separation between the two things with the fine line in between them, right? But if it's a physical line, that line is sharp as fuck, right? And, uh, Potentially, it could easily be broken. So, so you could take it like, uh, even though he he made it and he's doing his thing, and we're still down here wondering how he did it, right? The fine line, like, 
It could have just as easily been the other way around. Or taking it the sharp way, like, you could have tried to do the things he did and just as easily been killed or not made it. But, like, the fine line concept of, like, I mean, there's really not that much that makes people so different. Is it luck? Is it... I don't think so, but... I think luck's definitely a part of it. I don't think it's the whole thing, but, you know... I can certainly feel like it's all just random. I, I, was, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> there you go. Actually, he, he kind of, like... He even... That's that's exactly what I'm saying. There's not that much of a difference except that he'll probably puke. <laughs> the avoidance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not trying to get caught up in that shit. You know, get me the fuck out of here. Like, I, this isn't. I, I came here to get high. I didn't come here to fuck around and deal with some bullshit. You know. I was on my toes, but I'm still the same height. That could be taken a couple different ways, too. Like, uh, like I'm always high, like, um, mentally. Or like emotionally set how he was saying he's stoic, like I'm always like I'm I'm getting fidgety but I'm always locked in. I think you could take it literally to like physical height, but yeah, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, no, so I bet they totally do go in there and read all the comments like, Suicide Boys, you guys saved my life, you know, without this music, man. Hey, man, I just wanted to say, man. And then, um, like, um, you know, I'm sure they will leave most of it, but I'm sure there's also ones where it's like, you know, I feel like this person completely made this whole thing up just to try and get some, like, pity points and us fly them out and, like, turn it into a whole... You know, like people who fake getting sick or like fake shit for a GoFundMe or whatever. I'm sure there's a couple of those people. Or maybe they just don't even believe it. Like, well, who the fuck would actually like find meaning in any of this stupid shit? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I like that little flow too, so puzzly say. We made, I can't put them on my wall, that shit just ain't my taste. It ain't my taste, it ain't my taste. Charlie, when I marry me, I said you better off in debt. If it didn't work out, baby, I'll be real hard to forget. I'm in whips in private jets, private beaches, two access. Fuck on me, baby, I'm still a mess, and no, that ain't a threat. It's just being honest, that ain't a threat. I'm not trying to like turn this into a whole micro analysis of like psychology or whatever, but like, um, um, yeah, this shit is real as fuck. Copyright pause. Bro, man, I want to. If 
if these guys were producers, man, that shit would be lit as fuck. Do they actually like? I don't know. I might have to look into the whole the whole label because if it all sounds like this, man, these beats are fucking sick as fuck. This fucking this goddamn fly keeps flying around, and I'm gonna fucking kill it, man. I'm sorry, I paused just to say that, but it's pissing me off. A anyways, man. This one's just about over. I still don't know how to do no outro, so, um, fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna do another. Fuck it.